how it was finding out like you guys may just be home for a couple weeks mm -hmm. and then like the last minute transition to like completely be online. My quarantine started early because I got like a little, I got an, um sick, like a cold on March 11th and my school shut down March 13th. So I so I was home since March 11th. And someone had texted me, they were like, oh my gosh, we're out of school. I'm like, yay, okay. They were like, you're not happy? I'm like, we might, might go back. See, I wasn't happy, I was scared. Were you scared? Word. I don't know, I had mixed emotions. Were you scared? No. Nah. Cause okay, so what they said was they're like, don't worry. So basically, real quick, volleyball season is about to start, right? So we just had the week before, the week before we just had tryouts. So it was like, oh, the season was just about to start. So that week of that we went off to quarantine, the season was about to start. So I was hopeful. I was like, you know what? Don't worry, we'll be back in two weeks. It'll be all good. And then like two weeks later, they're like, nah, we're, 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 we're still on quarantine. That was the same way with dance. I was like, I like just scooted by by my birthday. I had two birthday celebrations like two weeks before it was like, <laughs> um, before we were all shut down and like a whole bunch of dancers and I, we were prepping to go to competition the very next day, March 14th. And they were like, nope, it's not happening. So that sucked. Yeah, it was just like devastating and stuff. Basically, I was just waiting to get back in school because they kept yeah. moving the date. Yeah, they were like they kept, April like, going first. Bro, like, I remember more, the date. It was like April fourteenth, and then, and your then March May fifth. So they're always yeah, saying something like, "I know, yeah, I know. do this." Like, no. Yeah. They're like, our plan is they're to be back in May fifth. May fifth comes. Was, our plan is to be back in September. September comes. Our plan is to be back yeah, in and, October. And, like, oh. October comes. Our plan, plan is to be back in March. What? March comes. Sorry, kids, not coming back. Yeah, it was just really just devastating, and it just kept, it was like a norm, like, oh, yeah, we'll be back next week, next week comes, and you're still home. Yeah. What? So, yeah. What has been the most challenging about your school experience during COVID, and what was the change about it? I don't think it was an issue for me. Um, being in school, it happens to be like a really big distraction for me. Uh, yeah, because I had a lot of big issues that had mm. to deal with other people. Mm -hmm. And constantly, because at the time I had only been in East Brunswick for about a year. So I, yeah, I moved in 2018. Well, like a year and a half, two years around mm -hmm. there. So, like, pretty much like the new girl. So I still had like an expectation to live up to. And it was just like really distracting. You never really got to focus on work or things like that. So I think being home was definitely like a beneficial thing for me, especially when it came to grades. My grades have like never been better. What? Yeah. The amount of stories that I heard are opposite. <laughs> Literally like, people like, get I'm like And their grades just start dropping. Right now. I, for me, uh, so for me, it wasn't, cause like, I'm very school oriented, but like school work oriented. So I'm fine talking to people, I'm fine without talking to people. I'm like this day and yeah. age, it's social media, right? So mm -hmm. you yeah. still get to like- I'll call Interact. You home. Yeah, you still get to interact with your friends. So basically quarantine meant waking up later, mm -hmm. like not having to go to school early and just doing all your work straight without having any, right. like we don't have to switch classes. That we don't have beautiful. like- I know. Like that you're trying to get so work true. done. Bro, the thing I hate, the, dislike the most, let me say dislike the most, the thing I dislike the most <laughs> Is when teachers give you work and then they talk to the students but expect you to finish the work at the end of class. Oh, exactly! <laughs> That's what my Spanish teacher does. <laughs> Explain that? Yeah. No? Like, it's like, Miss, I didn't finish it. Like, oh, you were yeah. multitask. Like, no. Sorry, what? For me, I don't know about y'all, but for me, we weren't on Zoom yet. I didn't have anything oh, yeah, to we, do. Yeah, no. so, I didn't have to. They were like, as long as you put in that church here by two o'clock, then you're fine. Yeah. And just like do the work, then then you're fine. But for me, sorry. But for me, I just, same thing with you. Being in school is like a distraction to me, but I've learned that being home is like really boring. <laughs> it's like emotionally draining. Yeah, you're the same like, people every I'm like, day. Like, go away from me. Literally, <laughs> like, like I want to socialize outside of the house. I'm someone who shares a room with my sister, so it is constantly annoying to hear her. Yes, to constantly hear her talking on the phone with her friends at an outrageous hour. Because I'm a dancer, so I actually have to get up in the morning, 
she does absolutely nothing. She'll be like 3 I'm talking to her friends. Literally. Clicking on her keyboard, gaming. I'm just like, go away. Go away. But like, I definitely learned like I'd rather now. Well, before, I was like, yeah, being at home, definitely my zhuzh. Prime. Now that I'm home, I'm like, I want to go back. Please, I want to go back. And now... Like, I think we just like took it way too much for granted. We, that we took it for expected. granted. I mean, I guess that's for y'all because as <laughs> so like <laughs> as a junior, especially like um, about to be a senior, like almost graduating, I really care about my grades. So like yeah. being at home, it's like I don't have to. I have more time, right? Yeah. I just have more time in general. I don't have oh, look at to you. waste time. What? Oh, lucky you! <laughs> You're lucky you, bro. I mean, like, uh, so I don't have to waste time getting on the bus and stuff. So it's like, wake up, bro. I'd be waking yeah. up 10 minutes before class. <laughs> Literally, at like 9 10 minutes before class, I wake <laughs> up, get on computer, go through the whole day, right? And then after school, I do my homework really quickly. And I have more time to make sure I'm actually understanding what I'm doing, right? Yeah. And I guess it's different because, like, you know, you have a sibling. Both of my sisters are in college. So, like, basically, the, home, the, like, the house is quiet. So I can really Lovely. focus. I don't oh. ever have time because I'm a dancer. So you'd be like, oh, three o'clock dance? Crazy. You're not going to be home till 10. I'm the only child in the house, and it still happens to be loud. <laughs> I'm like, what are you, like, are you like, on 55 conference calls a day? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> My mom has, like, this extreme Barbie voice when she goes on conferences. It's so funny. <gasps> Yo! Like, and she would practice with me, the, like, the night before. And she'd be like, hi, guys. I'm like, wait! <laughs> that, that was Barbie. That was Barbie. That was Barbie. That's what she funny. sounds like every conference call. It's so Barbie. annoying. That's and I'll be, like, mid-presentation. And I'll, like, hear it all of a sudden. I'm like, I'm like, sorry, guys. And that, that's, the uh, quadrilatic. I don't live with Barbie. I think my mom. <laughs> I'm mad. That's funny. I know. <laughs> okay, what has being a student during a pandemic taught you? Ooh. Patience. I know that. Patience. I've learned patience and self care. Because here's the thing when I was, and it's crazy because I, I say, like, like I want to go back, but being in school, you're in the school building eight hours out of the day. I didn't really like take time to like just breathe and like I was just constantly moving from class to class to class yeah. and even though I don't get lunch breaks in like now I don't know why but I don't get lunch breaks Same. but like there's like a like a five minute like like stretch in between classes to, like get to the class so I'll probably just like take time and just be like okay breathe just it's gonna be okay, just breathe. And patience also, like I don't have to like rush to like do everything now. Well, some class, like I've learned, it's okay to get things done later on today. So yeah. Mm. Like school, <laughs> I don't even know to be honest. Like, yeah. cause, cause the change happened so fast that you kind of had to Adjust alter away. everything like yeah. that so you don't even get time to like oh shoot i'm doing this more now you know it's kind of mm -hmm. just like oh get that in the deep end yeah you gotta learn how to swim but i guess it's made me realize like made me real like cherish all the conversations that yeah, you have definitely. in school like i didn't realize how much time oh. we spent talking to each yeah, other like, and like to the making teachers making friends yeah like yeah Building bonds, definitely, because now I can't talk to you through a Zoom call in front of the entire class. That's so embarrassing. Yeah. But you know what else so I learned? Destructive. Kids won't talk if they don't have to, or if they're not in like a classroom setting. Yeah. Because the amount of times I where know. the teacher tries to start a conversation. I know. Even like crickets. <laughs> like, like, it'll just get so just like, like just no, like that. Yeah. Silence just now. They'll like ask a question and no one responds. Or they tell a joke and no one laughs. And I That's feel so bad happened like four times before. That's awful. For sure. He's like, I'm just joking, guys. I'm like, okay. Um, something that was really important for me as a student, well, I'm still being a student. Um, time management. It's something I struggled with a lot because I was very busy. So it always like never really registered. Like you need to manage your time better if you're going one, two, and three. And you need to get to A, B, and C too. Yeah. You kind of got to figure out what sections you need to for your priorities, but then also for you. Like organization. Yeah. Type thing. yeah. All right. How has quarantine affected your mental health? Trash. Like, 
purple. Mm. Okay, it's okay. You want to go first? Let's, yeah. Well, I, I have a long story. You, okay, yeah, so I'll go first. first. So, a couple months into quarantine, um, I had started to realize that a lot of people were being friends because of my social status at school. Mm. Um, oh, and around July, I mm. got into this very heated argument with a couple of my no longer friends. Was like Cops were involved, washes. lawyers were involved, it was really big, um, and for some reason I felt that it was my fault, mm -hmm. that I was the cause of everything, I'm the reason why I'm not friends with these people anymore, um, that whatever I went through, I caused it to happen to me, um, and it really did mess with my mental health, I was constantly crying, I like never wanted to leave my room, I developed an eating disorder for four months, um, cause I just never liked to eat, I just felt so empty, mm -hmm. so for a while it like really took a toll on me until like I had to realize like you have people around you that love you and that are thankful for you to have them in your life and they would not trade you for the world and the people that are here <laughs> are obviously the people <laughs> that I love and thanks so much for like helping me get through like this whole crisis, but now I love me and I'm just doing me. That's tough. I mean, you could tell your story. I have a long story. My story is short. Like, you as might like, go. Uh, as in like yeah. irrelevant. Okay, so. Sure, sure. Again, it just it sure. didn't like affect. It didn't like affect my mental health like that. Like again, because I was really in. I'm really school oriented, so I'm really like focused in my work. So like that's kind of like <laughs> that's kind of like my top priority. It's like a distraction from everything else. So, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it made, like, friends made me realize how much of a distraction away from myself. Mm -hmm. Like, because I know, like, a lot of people, like, I've seen a lot of like, people get into their own heads or something like that. Because I have, I'm always in my own head, right? I'm always thinking, always, like, reflecting, overthinking. you know, but <laughs> tight <laughs> overthinking. And it made me realize how much, like, being around other people really, like, takes me away from that and kind of, right. like, just enjoy in general, in life, like a little bit more, yeah, just enjoy live, a little bit in more. the moment, that's something that's really important also, live in the moment that you are in. Yeah, okay, so I've always dealt with like mental health, like like depression, anxiety, all that kind of stuff. And I was really just starting to like get like back to like a happy state. Like a, yeah, like a positive happy mindset. and positive and calm. And then going in the quarantine again, I don't have any other person my age in the household so I got like extremely lonely and then like your social life just, just gets like cut off completely and like we don't have control over what's going on in the world it's in God's hands so what can we do so I fell back into like a really dark place you know crying thoughts of taking my life came upon a couple of times to be honest with you and just I just was extremely like unhappy like you know it was just really bad and then it just like like and I didn't know like what to do like I didn't think I could like talk to anybody like I didn't have and like I had friends but I couldn't talk to them about what was going on because like I didn't know how to like oh I'm depressed yeah like how do <laughs> like, you tell close like that. yeah and you know I'm still dealing with those things today to be transparent I'm dealing with those things today right now and you know things get better, I, and I have hope that they will get better. You just have to, you know, have faith in God, mm. and just you know keep pushing yourself and working. You know, school became a large distraction, but then it became an add-on to my stress and my loneliness and my sadness. So life is just life right now, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. And like, what can I, like just. Live in the moment, because life is so short as we see right now, what's, what's going on in the world. So many people are just dying, to be honest with you. Yeah. So like, living in the moment definitely helped. And just keep going and pushing, because- Try to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. enjoy while it lasts, because life is short. Yeah, and make sure you take care of you. You definitely are you. More important you than anybody what, else. Yeah, well, you know your God, body then. the way anybody else does. You make you. You make your personality, you make how you are around people, your energy, your energy is so important because your energy affects you. It affects yeah. the people around you and if you want 
to have the tight circle that you have and appreciate, you have to make sure you help yourself before you're able to help others. Take time for you, do what's best for you and your mindset and make sure you always put yourself first. And two things um, also, okay, one, self-care is really important, especially in quarantine. And also, don't be afraid to let people go. Cause mm. I've let so many people go and, and like, you know, cause then, cause do, do, it's crazy how this could like show people's true colors. Like you yeah. realize how people really are. Like they don't Especially call you anymore. Especially you've been friends with them for a long yeah. time too. Yeah. Like, like they don't check on you. They don't call you. They like, you know, become really distant. So don't be afraid to let people go. I would say, I would say try not to get too attached to people. That too. Because I feel like sometimes we could get really attached, especially now. with, uh, especially now, yeah, when, if you have that, like, one friend that you always talk to, or that you always expect a call from or a text from, I feel like you could get really attached. Extremely. And, like, I know, when something, they especially, her, well, yeah, yeah, yeah like, something might really, happen. Yeah, like, we literally only have social media, which kind of sucks. Kind of, it's tiring seeing other people's faces. <laughs> and even if it's not, like, the, like, them leaving your life, but, like, in a time like this, And so when they weren't just around, like we were still best friends, but if they weren't just around, you would feel like anxiety. Oh wow. Yeah. I'm like I think the like kind of the attachment and working more on yourself during this time is a great thing because we're really kind of like not alone, but we spend a lot more time with ourselves now than we definitely do. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Well, the last question was: Do you guys have any advice on mental health? (laughs) Well, for school, well, for school, um, again, just take time for yourself and push, and time management is really important. Uh, I feel like, okay, teachers, y'all must not get it, I don't know, (laughs) because it's like, they give us more work now that we're at home, like, what do you think is changing, yes. They'd be like, like, oh, you're you're home? You have nothing to do? Pack it. There you go. Like, wait. 7 p.m. too, okay? Right. And and I feel like teachers don't really... Look, their job is hard, too. We get it. We understand. But you chose to do that. I didn't really (laughs) choose. I have no choice. We didn't choose to go to school. My mom will be in jail if I don't go to school. So, like, I don't have any choice to, like, but do it. And the work I'll be given is, like, really... (laughs) <laughs> I'd say, you know, I'd say set your priorities, right? Yeah. Definitely. Because if you really care about school, and I'm not trying to like come at you, and I, but if you really care about school, Attached. even th- even though you have a packet to do, you're still gonna get it done. Yeah. You know, if yeah. you like yeah, really I, care about it, that one, my bad. Yeah. yeah I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like having your priorities straight is important, like before this after. and after this, and in the moment right now, because if you like if you got dance and you know you have an essay due, when you have to leave to like for dance, and you just start doing it, what are you doing? That is not. Yo, okay. she relates too much to that one. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't even put on the spot, but like if you know like you have work to do, Facts. and you go to bed. And she said time management. You know you gotta yeah. make sure you okay. get what you All right. get like done. If, clouded, Thank you. Wait, but like if you're like a visual person, if you have to write down everything in like a time, do that. I do that. That will. I have good. a planner. Like I need to strategically write the know. amount of hours <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing something like today because I knew I had to come here and I knew I had to work right before this. Um, I knew that like for an hour I need to do this. Thirty minutes that. And then also in between the myths of all homework and school and all educational things, um, do you take care of you? I know right now a lot of people are struggling on body confidence. Definitely. Um, so many people if look in the mirror shame, now. If you body shame, that's right. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm playing. Um, Put that out. <laughs> But like, as as hard as it is, just know, we love you, we're here, and as much, we care so much about you guys, and I know it's hard, I went through the same thing over the summer, I felt very boxy, and ugh, don't talk to me, and I just felt like, not pretty, I felt not me, and that's something, oh, thank you, um, (laughs) that's something that's really important, so when you make 
when you wake up in the mirror just tell yourself i love you thank you for being here thank you for giving me your energy thank you for giving me your time you are beautiful and that is what you need to do because it's truly going to help you and everything that you have resting in your life mm. yeah i guess that's a hard a uh, lot harder like body image a lot harder topic for a woman yeah because we have to live up to expectations like to look like hey people. yo first like the guys gotta live up to expectations no you don't it's, Whoa. Hard. it's harder for women. I mean, it's harder for because okay. So as a woman, story. if you were <laughs> if you were to see me in like eighth grade, ninth grade, I know what you look like. Exactly. I know what you look exactly. like. Yeah, okay, but you didn't have to live up to an expectation that you had to look like this. In eighth I mean, but here's but the, here's thing. the thing: you, yeah. it depends how much you want it. It depends like where your mindset is at. If you're like, oh, I gotta look like her. I gotta look like him. It's That's hard, what you're gonna be chasing. it's so hard if you don't like- But you don't, don't have like, to look like that person. Okay, but if you don't like what you look like, it becomes a but daily thing where you're like, oh, yeah, I need to be she, that skinny. She, she's right, because if you like deal with issues already and then you have to go on some social media and like the beauty standard is like- Up here, like crazy. Hailey Bieber up here. Literally. Okay, but here, okay, but, okay one, one more thing with the mental health thing. I've said this a million times. Well, not a million times, but I've Probably told y'all this. Okay. I said it. <laughs> so, no. Okay, your emotions. Your emotions are really important. Keep them in check. Yeah. Okay, and don't be afraid to let your emotions out. Like, if you have to, like, cry, cry, dude. Just Facts. Sit there and cry. Sit there and cry. Because, like, okay, because... Listen to you broke me first. Or if you can't cry, <laughs> just kind of be in the moment, you know. Or, like, because... From personal experience, holding in your emotions literally gets Horrible. you nowhere, and it makes things ten times worse than what it already is. Mm. And it kind of messed me up, you know, yeah. being angry and then taking that anger to school, and then letting out that anger in school in the worst way possible, and it doesn't get you anywhere. So if you want to cry, cry. I would say, uh, so f as a guy, especially like. You were talking yeah, previously. We're talking. No, no, no. We're talking about like standards. As a guy, usually you're supposed to hold in all your emotions. Or you're that, not supposed to show emotions. Oh, and, don't do oh, it. But like, let, oh, and, <laughs> and, oh, and the it. stigma that black men shouldn't cry is the most. I, here's I the thing, that. though. I just don't cry. He's so. But here's but, the, here's but, why. I, okay, fine, so though. the way. Yeah, yeah. But the I recently learned to let my emotions flow. Right. Don't try to like Bless stop. Her. If you they don't if you're feeling sad or you feel like if you feel like you're about to cry but look, like you can't cry or you feel like you're about to cry and you don't want to cry just let it flow mm -hmm. right don't stop it it's like a river trying to pass you can't it, stop like, it it also just gonna get blocked up. It happened naturally you know, so it just flow naturally. Yeah, no, I I for the longest I try to keep my emotions in or like not bottled up but no. to myself because I try not to. That's bottled up. I mean, okay, you know, quite literally. Like <laughs> I, I try to keep them <laughs> bottled <laughs> up but like. Like to myself, right? Because again, as a guy, you well, don't no, share your no, emotions. Yeah. You're not supposed to share I your emotions. You you how, so I always keep it to myself. So it wasn't like I wasn't acknowledging my emotions, but it was more do like that. I wasn't sharing. Them. Do that. I wasn't yeah, sharing. that's don't overreact. I'm and a, and accountability. Because I'm like, oh, oh, I'm fine. I'm okay. Uh, and you're like really not. Ooh, be brutally you're honest like, with the people that you can be, bro. Cut that out. Cause that just exposed <laughs> her in like five months. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but like like honestly, like taking accountability accountability Ability. and understanding and and acknowledging I'm not okay. Cause it's okay to not be okay. As long yeah. as you know that you're not okay and you wanna fix it, then it's okay. Mm. And even if you don't think you have anyone, you definitely do. There's people here. Mm -hmm. Just try to find people in your life. And if you really feel like there's no one, there's always God. There's God that. is always listening 24-7. He's the go. The G. If you know what that means. <laughs> God above all things. Yeah, he's always there to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Sorry. He's always there to listen. And... If you really feel like it's no one and it's just you, just remember there's God. I know hey. social media. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know social media has been like a really big part of our lives, and it's been what? What? Sorry. Oh. It's been <laughs> social media has been like a big part of our lives, and it's been beneficial as far as like awareness and like letting things that are like kind of hidden be known, but also. Honestly, I love TikTok, Instagram, all that, but it's toxic. Really? Like, there are so many trolls and books, and like, there's so much 
like uncalled things being posted and being said and even if you unfollow them it's still like there all over it's like everywhere like the shade room sorry but like y'all <laughs> y'all are fun y'all are toxic uh, but oh it's fun uh, here's the th it depends who you follow though that's really like i follow the shade room too but i don't go on social media and see a post and be like like That's their tea is it's good, just funny. but sometimes, but no, y'all, y'all comments just let the comments rip. are different. <laughs> the comments are different. Y'all comments just <laughs> rip. But yeah, so yeah, we we love you a lot. We love you. God loves you. We're happy to be here. See, See you, you next time, time on, on the, the talk. talk. You messed up. Ah, yeah, I did.